You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Can you drive to this one? Uh, we'll put you down the appropriate decibel level. Okay. Check, check. Oh. Oh my. That's what I sound like? Wow. I don't like that at all. Gosh. No wonder I'm hearing viewers. Oh well. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> You're a goddamn menace. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and let the game fix itself. Whenever it stops looking all glitchy, I'll start driving again.
South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. What's the situation? Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my truck. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Try the back. Throw out the guns! Stay down! Stay in cover! down now stupid hostage hostages are dumb they're so dumb my name is Officer Needs Help, 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street, Officer Needs Help, 211, the shots fired. Get it to handle code 3, identify. Let's go! Try the back.
Quick, up the stairs! Get after him! Put the weapon down, now! Yay, I love whenever I kill the bad guys. Car 11K, I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How would you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead.
Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. So this is where you sprang from. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. And how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? 
Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes. And Surettes. Yeah, Surettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey! You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. <clears throat> Why exactly is this loading so slowly? I don't I think I want to make my character move very slowly so that it doesn't use up too much of my CPU. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. Well, hydrate. How do you figure that, brain boy? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy with an order for a new movie. I have to try to find the chloral hydrate. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? All right. Now I got enough. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. 
So yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he was lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Enough. I've been in your people, <coughs> Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was the center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Enough of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! <coughs> Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Never touch a child. Detectives! His Johnny Goldberg! You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but, uh... It won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. <clears throat> Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. 
Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I don't think they like your little cat. anybody get into Bishop before they do. I'll try for the tires! Keep your foot down! I can't take the shot from here, Cole. To lose those fools, Phelps. Quit horsing around, Phelps. Ha! Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Out of the car, police. I find one goddamn ding. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the 
We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. It's us or McAfee's boys, your choice. I didn't do anything. Get the hell out of here, you goddamn maniac. Bishop, that's enough. That girl made it all up! Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. It's Doom Ballard! and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we, need, we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down. You're pretty brave, brave. Make You hear me? Reinforcements on the way. Peace and assist. LHCD, you're making a big mistake. It's this way. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! Oh my God, they're everywhere! There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Get me out of here! Tell a cop, and it's the electric chair. You're a real miss. 
sir. Come get me. Shit. Really hurt. There. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Follow me. Come on. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. They're full of gasoline! Shoot them! Quickly! How long do you think you can hold out? to the car.
Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice, capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. This your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Jazz coal, the hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's You're a dick. Pretty this guy's a dick. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you would follow me, detectives. Just through the door. My only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa! Are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LABD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? I never want that to ever be me, ever. I never want to have any rage try to force me to do drugs or anything like that. That's so disgusting and it's so gross. I... It's scary. That is very scary.
Once right, again, guys, take this is a Let's get this over video game lunch. about police work. Flight rolls uh, at the homicide squad has decided to take care of the retirement. We're going to wind up running into situations like Floyd that, where it's going to get pretty gross. And the, the department has arranged pretty gruesome, so... Arms to quench the mighty thirst. A man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's you need to have a, some, a, a strong summer. Table. And the chief has seen stomach. fit to promote Cole Phelps Every from time. burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, Sean Belmont. Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop is. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leagues, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Any central unit, car 16 out, reports a possible jumper at 8 and hope the Methodist Church in a channel code to identify. 11 k go ahead. To get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. You think this thing can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Come on, then, right foot. No offense, but I don't want you splashed on my shoes. Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked him up with a sponge. I still can't even forget his house. I. This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just. I'll come quietly. Just. I need some help. Please. You gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others.
Straight on. I am an amazing driver. Like, absolutely incredible. I love driving. Officer drive. needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. 211 in progress. Shots fired. Unit to handle code 3. Identify. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I mean, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. A 211 in progress and shots fired. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Car 11K responding. Go ahead. 11K officers need help at the Bank of America, 7th and all on the 211. I killed that one, not you.
stay down. They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right. I'll wait here. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Wish me luck. Bodies upstairs are dead. That leaves you, pal. Oh, what's taking so long? Real clever, asshole! I'm gonna find you! Give it up, chump! I know you're there! Give it up, Chuck! I know you're there! As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on it! There he is! Can live to tell the tale. As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on it. That's it. That's all of them. Car 11K. Shots fired, suspects are down. We're code 4 here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. 7th and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger on your ambulance, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 211 and Bank of America. Go for it. <laughs> You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. All right, guys, I think that I am going to <clears throat> go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, it's starting to get a little noisy in here, so I'm going to save you all the trouble of having to hear all of this, and I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Shit. All right.
Thank you for viewing. But I am going to vlog now. Alright, bye guys. Thank you, and I love my new headset. So cute.